Every day there's something new. There are lots of great things for me to do. I'm Caillou. I learn so much through the games I play. And I grow bigger every day. I'm Caillou. I'm just a boy of four who wants to go and explore. How do you do? I'm Caillou. It was Halloween, and Caillou was very excited because he loved to dress up. Caillou, can you guess what Halloween costume I've made for you? Hmm, a firefighter? No, guess again. An astronaut? No, have another guess. Caillou thought very hard. What could Mommy have made him for Halloween? I know! A magical wizard! <laughs> Mommy had made him a wizard costume. She helped him put it on. <laughs> Something is missing. Daddy came in holding a funny pretend beard and a spooky looking book. Don't forget your hat and spell book. Ah, yes. Are you ready to make some magic, Caillou? Almost, Daddy. Abracadabra. Yes, Rosie. I have your clown costume ready here. Rosie saw the clown costume, and suddenly she didn't want to dress up and go out. No. You don't want to go trick-or-treating? No! Caillou is really surprised. He didn't think the clone costume was scary, but Rosie did. Maybe Rosie's scared to go out trick-or-treating. I'll stay home with her while you and Daddy go out. I'll bring back some extra candy for her. Caillou and Daddy left the house. It was dark and spooky outside. There were jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. Daddy, it's a bit scary out here. Don't worry, Caillou. I'm right here. Caillou walked closely next to Daddy. Let's go to Mr. Hinkle's house first. Caillou walked up to Mr. Hinkle's front door and Daddy waited at the foot of the stairs. Trick or treat! Hello there. It's not every day I get a visit from a magical wizard. What a nice surprise, Caillou. I hope you don't turn me into a frog. Caillou was <laughs> happy Mr. Hinkle recognized him. Thank you, Mr. Hinkle. Where's Rosie? Rosie was a bit too scared, so she stayed at home with Mommy. Well, you make sure she gets some of these sweets too, okay? Children in all kinds of costumes ran from house to house. Who was that girl dressed up as a fairy? And who was the Frankenstein monster she was talking to? Look at me, Caillou. I'm a scary <laughs> monster. And I'm a wizard. That monster is Leo. And Clementine's a fairy. Oh, my. You all look great. Look at all my treats. Clementine, Leo, and Caillou all compared their bags of candy. Wow, that's a lot. Caillou, Leo, and Clementine decided to go to the rest of the houses together. Trick or treat! They collected lots of treats, and soon their bags were full of goodies. It's time to go home now. Oh no, not yet! I have an idea. We can do one last trick or treat. Oh! <laughs> Caillou, Clementine, and Leo walked up to the front door of Caillou's house. Trick or treat! Who do we have 
have here? A wizard, a monster, and a fairy. Rosie was still a little frightened. Rosie, it's me! Caillou! Rosie started <laughs> giggling. She wasn't afraid of dressing up anymore. Happy Halloween! <laughs> It was a cold, rainy day, and Caillou was playing in his room. Blast off! But Caillou really wanted to go outside. What's wrong, Caillou? I wish the rain would stop so I could go outside and play Space Ranger! Well, why don't you play Space Rangers here in the house? But I don't have a spaceship. You and Rosie could make one out of this old cardboard box. Caillou thought for a moment. He wasn't sure he'd be able to make a spaceship out of a boring old box. I'll go and get some things for you to decorate it with. Caillou couldn't decide whether to make a rocket, a spaceship, or a flying saucer. Rocket! I think you are right, Rosie. Let's make a rocket. Caillou and Rosie splatted paint, stuck down colored paper, and made the old box into the best rocket they had ever seen. You can't go into space without special helmets. Thanks, Mommy. Now we look like real space rangers. As soon as the paint was dry, it was time to blast off. It's time to go now, Rosie. We have 10 seconds until liftoff. We need to get into the rocket. 10. Wow. 9. Buckle in, Rosie. It's going to be a bumpy ride. 8. All systems are go. 7. Blast off. Soon, they were on a strange alien planet. Wow! We're really in space! Suddenly, Caillou spotted something moving behind a nearby rock. Hello? Who's there? Caillou thought the alien looked familiar, but he couldn't work out who. Hello, I'm Space Ranger Caillou, and this is Rosie. Kitty! No, Rosie, that's an alien! Suddenly, the alien jumped forward towards them and grabbed Teddy from Space Ranger Caillou. Teddy! Uh-oh, we have to get him back, Rosie. Come on! Caillou and Rosie ran as fast as they could, but they couldn't catch the alien. Get back here with Teddy! Teddy, come back! I have a plan! We have to get him onto the ship. Rosie! Teddy! The alien ran onto the ship, scared of the heroic space ranger. Caillou's plan had worked. Caillou tried to pull Teddy from the alien's grip, but he held on tight. Give Teddy back! What are you two doing? I thought you'd be outside now that the rain has stopped. We've been on a space adventure, Daddy.
Caillou and Rosie had so much fun on their space adventure, they jumped straight back into their ship and blasted off again. Every morning, Caillou watched for the big yellow school bus that drove down his street. He always saw lots of children waiting for it. Caillou's friend Sarah hopped onto the bus and took a seat. She saw Caillou sitting by the window. What's wrong, Caillou? I really, really, really want to go on the big yellow school bus. When can I go on the bus like all the other big kids? Not long. Only one more birthday and you'll be old enough. That's such a long time. I want to go on the bus now. Here's an idea. Why don't we go and talk to the bus driver tomorrow morning? If you ask nicely, the driver might let you ride the bus. Caillou was still a little sad, but at least he'd get to see the bus up close. The next morning, Caillou and Daddy were waiting for the school bus. Here it comes! The bus driver pulled up and opened the door. Good morning, young man. What's your name? Caillou stood behind Daddy. He was a bit shy. This is Caillou. He'll be going to school next year. Really? That means you'll be joining my bus. What is your name? Well, they call me Mr. Billy, the bus driver. I really, really, really want to go on the bus. I can't take you on the bus ride today because the bus is full. But you and your daddy can join me tomorrow. How does that sound? Yay! I can't wait! The next morning, Caillou was so excited about the bus ride, he couldn't stop thinking about it. I heard someone is going on a bus ride today. I'm so excited, Mommy! Bus! I want to make something special for Mr. Billy, the bus driver, to thank him. Maybe you should draw him something. Caillou thought that was a great idea. He picked up his colored pencils and a piece of paper. That's me driving the school bus. What a wonderful drawing, Caillou. When breakfast was done, Caillou and Daddy met Sarah at the bus stop. Are you going on the school bus, Caillou? Caillou nodded proudly. He felt like a big boy. The bus pulled up in front of them and Mr. Billy opened the door. Jump on, Caillou. We can't be late for our route. Caillou climbed onto the bus with his daddy. Caillou and daddy sat right behind Mr. Billy on the bus. Caillou felt like the bus driver too. Caillou waved at each boy and girl that came onto the bus. Riding the big yellow school bus was lots of fun. Stop, start, stop, start. The bus picked up more and more children. Mr. Billy drove them all to the school. At the school, the children got off, all except Caillou. Mr. Billy, I drew you something. Wow, what a great drawing. Is that you driving the bus? Caillou nodded. He was very proud of his drawing. Wonderful. I'm going to put it up right here for everyone to see. Time to head home. Caillou didn't want his ride on the school bus to end. He was having so much fun. But when he saw Mommy and Rosie waiting for him, Caillou was glad to be home. Did you see me, Mommy? I sure did. Did you remember to thank Mr. Billy? Thank you, Mr. Billy. I had so much fun today. Me too, Caillou. Thanks for joining me today. I have something special to give you as well. Mr. Billy handed Caillou a little yellow school bus toy. Now you have your own little yellow bus that you can drive any day you want. Whoa! I love it! Thank you, Mr. Billy. Caillou waved to the bus as it pulled away. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Billy. See you soon. 
Caillou couldn't wait to be older, so he could get on the school bus every day. It was summer vacation. Caillou and his family were going to the beach. Caillou couldn't wait to see what the ocean was like. Are we there yet? Almost, Caillou. When you can see the ocean, you know we are nearly there. I want to go swimming and build the biggest sand castle ever! Don't forget about the ice cream. Ice cream was Caillou's favorite. He couldn't wait to taste all the different flavors. Ooh, yummy! Yummy! <laughs> <gasps> there it is! I can see the ocean! When they finally arrived, Caillou jumped straight out of the car. He ran down to the beach. It's hot on my toes. Don't worry, Caillou. It's just the heat from the sun warming up the sand. It won't hurt you. Caillou was surprised that the sand was hot, but he enjoyed wiggling his toes in it. Wow, the ocean. The ocean went on forever. It was the biggest thing Caillou had ever seen. Caillou, it's very sunny, and that means we need to put on lots of sunscreen and wear your hat so you don't get burnt. Caillou <laughs> giggled and tried to get away, but Mommy held on tight. She covered him all over with sunscreen. It tickled. Daddy set up the umbrella, and Mommy put Rosie down in the shade. Caillou didn't want to sit around. He wanted to do something fun. Who wants to go swimming? Me! 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 Caillou took Daddy's hand. Together, they ran towards the water. <laughs> the water is cold. It's all right once you get used to it. Caillou and Daddy were having lots of fun splashing about in the water. Suddenly, a big wave knocked Daddy down. <laughs> Caillou thought Daddy looked funny covered in seaweed. <laughs> then another big wave came and took Caillou by surprise. He didn't like being under the water. Don't worry, Caillou. Let's be careful to not go too deep and watch for the waves coming together, okay? <laughs> hey, you two. Time for lunch. Daddy and Caillou were now very hungry after dodging the waves. Caillou had a sandwich, an apple, and some lemonade for his lunch. Yummy. Caillou picked up his sandwich and took a big bite, but it was full of sand. Ugh! It's all sandy! I can't eat this! A nearby seagull swooped down and stole the sandy sandwich. Hey, come back! That's mine! Don't worry, Caillou. We can get some ice cream instead. After lunch, Daddy took Caillou to the ice cream shop. There were so many flavors, all different colors. Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. I want to try all of them. <laughs> Why don't you choose one flavor for today and then a different one next time? Okay, but how do I choose when there are so many? The friendly ice cream seller let Caillou try a few flavors to make sure he picked his favorite. Mmm, I like that one. Daddy bought four ice creams and they went back to find Mommy and Rosie. Want to show Rosie how to build a sandcastle, Caillou? Caillou was very excited and grabbed a bucket and spade. Look, Rosie, you take the bucket and go like this. Rosie giggled and clapped her hands. Sandcastles were the most fun of all. Wow, that looks great. 
But no castle is complete without a flag. Suddenly, Caillou felt water splashing against his feet. The ocean had moved closer, and the castle was washing away. Oh no! The waves are ruining my sand castle! How did they get here? Because the tide makes the ocean go higher and lower, so the waves come further up the beach. The tide is coming in now, so that means it's time for us to go home, Caillou. But what about my sand castle? Don't worry. We can come back another day, so you and Rosie can build an even bigger one. Mommy and Daddy gathered up all their things and headed for the car. I want to come back tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. This is the best vacation ever! Caillou and his family had a great day at the beach, but he really couldn't wait for his next adventure. Caillou and his family were enjoying a spaghetti dinner. Yum! Spaghetti is my favorite! That's good, Caillou. Please try not to slurp when you eat. It was very hard to eat the spaghetti without slurping. While Caillou is trying not to slurp, he made a strange noise. Uh-oh. Sounds like you've got the hiccups. The hiccups? How do I stop them? Hiccups usually go away on their own. Caillou waited a moment to see if his hiccups disappeared. Hey! I waited, but they didn't go away! You have to wait longer than that. Why not play in the living room? Caillou built a tower of blocks while he waited for his hiccups to go away. But one was so big it made him knock over his tower. How's it going out here? These hiccups are messing up everything! I need them to go away! Sometimes hiccups can be cured by giving someone a scare. A scare? Just a little scare. It makes the person gasp, and the hiccups go away. Do you want to give it a try? Caillou thought about this for a moment. He didn't like to be scared, but he didn't like having hiccups even more. If it'll make the hiccups go away, then okay. Yeah! Mommy spread her arms out and floated like a ghost and then jumped at Caillou. Boo! Ah! Hey! It worked! Aw, it's not working. I don't think my hiccups are the kind that gets scared away. Good thing I'm here then. I'm the world's number one all-time hiccup cure champion. Come on, I'll show you. Some people cure hiccups by drinking water really fast from a hose. It can get a little messy. I don't care. I will try anything. Daddy turns on the water. Caillou tried to drink from the hose, but most of it sprayed all around. It's not working! Don't worry, Caillou. I've got another cure up my sleeve. The upside down solution always works. Daddy made Caillou do a handstand so he was upside down. Daddy held Caillou's feet for balance. Hiccups all gone? There's one more thing we can try. Let's go back inside. Everyone gathered in the playroom to find out Daddy's final cure. I've saved the best for last. This is sure to get rid of your hiccups. What is it? You hop from your left foot and rub your head with your right hand, like this. Caillou thought Daddy looked silly hopping around, and so did Mommy and Rosie. <laughs> Caillou really wanted to get rid of his hiccups, so he started hopping too. That's it, Caillou. Hop those hiccups away. Hop, Caillou. Hop. I'm still hiccuping. What if I have them forever? <gasps> and ever and ever. 
Maybe I'll have to stop making spaghetti dinners. <gasps> but spaghetti's my favorite. And Rosie's. And Daddy's too. It wasn't the spaghetti that gave me the hiccups. I know it wasn't. And I think they're gone. Listen. Caillou was right. His hiccups had gone away. Perhaps I scared them away by saying I wouldn't make spaghetti anymore. No, I think they went away on their own, just like you said they would. But are you really going to stop making spaghetti? Of course not, Caillou. I was just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou and Daddy were playing with Caillou's favorite train set. Daddy? Yes, Caillou? Is it true some trains go underground? Yes, that's true. It's a special kind of train called a subway. Caillou was a little surprised. The subway must be really dark if it's underground. I'd love to ride the subway one day. That gave Daddy an idea. The next day, Daddy decided to take Caillou on a special expedition. Are we really going on a subway train? Yes, Caillou. We'll be two explorers. Caillou put on his special blue hat and backpack. I can't wait to be an explorer. What's in your backpack? Explorer stuff. Caillou and his daddy went into the subway station. A gust of wind blew daddy's hat off. <laughs> Oops! A good explorer should always hold on to his hat during a tornado. Hmm. Caillou wondered where all that wind was coming from. Daddy bought two tickets for the subway. Daddy, wait! I'm stuck! Daddy! Push hard, Caillou. Caillou pushed hard, and he got through. Well done, Caillou. You've passed the first obstacle on our expedition. Caillou and Daddy went to the escalator. We're going underground now. Are you ready? Caillou looked at the big hole leading underground. He really wasn't sure if he still wanted to be an explorer. I'm scared, Daddy. Don't worry, Caillou. There's nothing to be scared of. Down the escalator they went. Caillou held his daddy's hand very tightly. And here we are. But it's not dark at all. There were so many people, and there was even a man playing a guitar. Daddy looked at a huge map on the wall, full of colored lines. Then Caillou heard a noise, getting louder and louder and louder. What's that? You'll see. Lights appeared from the dark tunnel. It's the train! The subway train arrived with a big gust of wind and the doors opened all by themselves. Hurry, Caillou. We have to get on before the doors close. Caillou was very impressed. Are they magic doors? Caillou looked around the busy train. We have to stand? Hold on tight, Caillou. The train took off and picked up speed. Caillou was holding the pole really tightly. He loved his ride on the subway. It's like a merry-go-round. Caillou Whee! watched as the lights whizzed by in the tunnel. We're almost there. Caillou was sad that the ride would be over soon. Caillou and Daddy walked around the park. They stopped on a park bench nearby to have a snack. It's much quieter here than on the subway. 
Caillou took two cookies from his backpack. One for you and one for me. Here an explorer that thinks of everything. I brought my flashlight and my teddy too. The explorers went back to the subway station. Watch out for the tornado! Caillou went into the station holding his hat, pushed his way through the turnstile without getting stuck, and rode down the escalator into the ground without being scared at all. Once he was on the subway, Caillou, the great explorer, fell asleep on his daddy's lap. Today, Caillou and Grandpa were going to the park. Grandpa arrived at Caillou's house carrying a box. What's in the box, Grandpa? You'll see when we get to the park. Caillou was so curious to know what was in the box. On the bus ride to the park, Caillou played a guessing game with Grandpa in order to find out. Is it a soccer ball or a kite? I know, it's a helicopter! <laughs> no, no, no. Caillou loved to watch the boats on the pond. They're having a race! I wish we had a... Oh, wow! A sailboat! I made it myself. Do you like it? Oh, yes! Does it really sail? Soon they had the boat in the water. Caillou was very excited when Grandpa let him do the steering. That's right, Captain Caillou. Just be careful. If you turn it too fast, it'll tip over. Can we race with the other boats, Grandpa? Let's get lined up for the start. Hi, Caillou. Emma was a friend of Caillou's from play school. Hi, Emma. Are you going to race too? Yes, my boat is the red one. And that boy over there has the blue boat. I bet we win, Grandpa. Maybe we will. But remember that the most important thing is to have fun. The finish line is the other side of the pond. On your mark, get set, go. Caillou really wanted to win, so he made his boat go a little faster. Be careful, Caillou. Not too fast. We're winning! Faster! Faster! Oh, no! Caillou's boat ran into Emma's, and both boats tipped over. Oh! That's too bad, Caillou. Better luck next time. Caillou felt bad because he had lost, and he made Emma lose too. Sorry, Emma. Oh, that's all right. I come here with my daddy every weekend, and my boat always tips over. It tips over every week? Yeah, it's hard to keep it going straight, but it's still lots of fun. 
Yes, it is fun. Let's go over and congratulate the winner. Well done on winning the race. You sailed so well. Thanks. You did well, too. Thanks. See you next time. Are you disappointed that you didn't win the race? I was a little, but I liked being Captain Caillou, even if I didn't win. <laughs>